everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul and I'm also going to try all the items on. So if you're interested, then keep watching. I'm going to show you what I got. And first of all, I got a new uh, trench jacket and this one is from Marks and Spencers. It was £129, I think. I took the price off actually, but I think that's what it was. So here is the jacket and as you can see there are really nice like silver buttons, there is a belt and um, very kind of classical trench coat back here with like a flap. Um, I really like the details at the uh, sleeves as well um, and the pockets too, there is like a double pocket. Let me try it on for you so you can see how it looks on but I'm really looking forward to wearing it in spring and in autumn as well. I really wanted to buy like a classic you know beige trench coat but I don't have 15 hundred pounds to spend on a Burberry one but I do think that this is a really nice alternative that will look as nice. I decided to style it with just a simple white sneaker and the blue striper shirt that I'm going to show you a little bit later and I really like how it fits, I like how casual it looks but at the same time I think it will look really nice with a heel and a dress in the evening. I really like the detail at the back, it fits really nicely. And I also think you could actually roll the sleeves up and make it even more casual. I have another jacket and this one is from Zara. And this is one of their like handmade ones, at least you know that's the tag that they usually put on them. I don't know how handmade it is, all the clothes really needs a steam, but I don't have a steamer. Ironing clothes is like one of the my most hated activities when it comes to housework and things like that. I would rather wash dishes three times than iron. I don't know what is it with me. But yeah, this jacket is from Zara and I really like it. It's super, super soft and very light. To throw over and give yourself another layer and some warmth. I think it will look really nice with a turtleneck or with a jumper, but I also think that you could um, style it with a white shirt and a maybe, you know, black trouser and a heel and it will look quite classy as well. So let's see how it looks on. Here we have the Zara jacket and I'm just wearing it with the white linen shirt. And as you can see, you can button it up and then there are two rows of buttons, which I think is a really nice detail. The nicest thing about this jacket, in my opinion, is the way it feels. It's super, super soft and it feels really light on, but at the same time, I actually feel quite warm in it. And it's very straight. It's not really fitted around your body, but I do like that because I like to layer up my clothing. So even if I put like a jumper on top of the shirt it doesn't feel bulky because there is a it's a quite a loose fit I like it buttoned up but I quite like it open as well with a nice scarf I think it will look really nice in spring and also on a cold evening in summer then I have a couple of shirts that I bought this one is from Marks and Spencers and this is a hundred percent linen shirt and I love linen especially for summer even though it's not summer yet you know it will come at some point and I do really like wearing linen because you know it's a very breathable natural fabric this shirt also comes in blue like a beautiful sort of like a baby blue and it's just it's a beautiful color I might actually go back and get it in blue as well because I really Really like the fit of it very simple I think it will be nice to wear it open and closed as well it's just one of those like very simple but essential pieces for your wardrobe so here is the linen shirt um, I really like it I love how it fits and it feels on I think the fact that it is linen adds a little bit of texture and makes the fabric look really interesting and nice I like the pockets here because obviously linen is a little bit see-through but the pockets are just sitting in the right place and I'm just wearing it with a nude bra so nothing will really show and I think it looks really nice I like that it's a little bit longer at the back than it is at the front I'm just wearing it with blue jeans but I think it will look nice with black jeans as well or if you like to wear color then colorful ones will look really nice as well and I have a pyjama that I bought and this is a pyjama from Max and Spencer's it's a silk pyjama and this is the Rosie for autograph so this is Rosie Huntington Whiteley 
collection. But I have been on a hunt for a nice but not too expensive silk pyjama for a long time. And most of them are just so ridiculously expensive, like £300, £400. And I understand that it is 100% silk, but it's a pyjama, you know what I mean? So this one was much more affordable, but it's a beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, there's also a white one, but I decided to go for black. And it is silk, so you do have to wash it by hand. You can't put it in a washing machine. But yeah, it comes with trousers and they are just like very simple, loose, long trousers with pockets. And I do sleep in a pyjama. Like I sleep in a pyjama because I get really cold. Um, I'm cold most of the time, to be honest. Wait, never mind. Then I have a dress from Zara and I can't wait to show it to you on as well because I love the fit. Um, it's a very simple black dress. It's quite a long dress which is quite unusual length for me but it's an off-shoulder dress and it's just so elegant and so beautiful and it's one of those, you know, simple little black dresses that I think are so easy to wear to any occasion. You can style it different ways and it just looks very feminine and you can feel confident in that nothing you know will fall out because the, like, the elastic here is actually really good. So let me show you how it looks on because I absolutely love it. As you can see, it is quite long, but I think the fact that it has quite a high slit here makes it still quite sexy and very elegant at the same time. It fits the body really nicely. I don't feel like it's too tight around the shoulders, neither do I feel like it's gonna fall off. It's actually holding on really well. And as you can see, it's just quite simple, but I do think, you know, it's very flattering. And I really, really like the bardo style kind of shoulder. And I'm just wearing my black Louboutins, but I think it will look really nice with a nude pair of shoes or maybe even a red pair of shoes and a nice bright red lip too. Then I have another shirt from Max and Spencer's which I adore. I love this shirt. I was so happy when I saw it and I found it and I was like, oh my god, I'm getting you know, so excited about it. I mean, it is just a shirt, but I really like it. It's a blue stripy shirt, but the thing about it is the details on the sleeves and I really like the tie. I really like the slits here, otherwise it's a very simple, straightforward blue and white stripe shirt, but the details just add a little bit of something interesting. So let's just try it on and I will show you how it actually looks on. But like I said earlier, I really like the details on the sleeves. I think it looks really nice with denim, but it will look very nice with maybe white denim jeans as well. And I think you can wear it with sneakers, but you can also style it with some heels and maybe a narrow trouser. So I'm definitely really, really happy with this purchase. I also have a pair of trousers that I got in Zara and this is a fake leather trouser just in black. It's not even a trouser, it's really a leggings. They have a zip at the um, at the bottom and they have a zip on the side here so it's easy to put them on. I have exactly the same ones in brown that I bought like two years ago and I worn them so much that when I actually saw them in black I grabbed them. I have to say however that the the elastic at the waist is not as strong as I was like would like it to be because the leggings, them being leggings, are quite tight on your legs and sometimes it feels like they're pulling them down a little bit so I have to pull them up like all the time which is not very pleasant but they do look really nice and I do like to wear them with like a jumper and a biker jacket and you know a heeled boot or something like that. I love to buy jeans and trousers and Zara because they fit me really well and the legs is usually perfect. So yeah let me show you how they look on as well. Here are the leather trousers and I decided to style it with a simple t-shirt with the Zara jacket that I have just shown you and a heeled black boot and I do think that they look really nice on. I think it just makes a nice difference from wearing simple black denim or you know normal black trousers. I will leave the links to all the items in the description box below. If I can't find any items I will try and find alternatives for you. Then I got a couple of scarves from H&M. They are actually identical except the color. They are exactly the same scarf but in different color. But I really like it because I love a scarf. I love like a big almost like a throw scarf. You can have it as almost like a poncho. I do really like wear to wear scarves like that, even over jackets, but you can wear it as a 
just a normal scarf or a head scarf and it's really warm and it's really soft and that's why I grabbed both because they were on sale they were seven pounds each and you know it was the greedy moment of me when I'm like oh it's seven pounds I need them both you know I couldn't decide which color I want so I just got both of them the gray one is exactly the same but I just thought that it would be nice to wear with navy and you know the gray shades in my closet but yeah both of them are very simple but they're just really cozy and warm then i also have two necklaces that i got in accessorize and this is this z for accessorize gold plated jewelry and i got two um very nice and cute necklaces that have evil eyes on them and i really like evil eyes i have bracelets with evil eyes i just really like that symbol and what it means as well so let me get you a little bit closer so you can actually see them close up the first necklace that i have here is this three layered one and let me put it on so you can see how long it is and I really like layered necklaces sometimes I just layer necklaces myself but this just makes my life so much easier so on the shortest one we have a little evil eye then there is a little hand here and then this one is just like a normal chain string first necklace was 25 pounds and this one is 17 obviously they are a little bit more pricey because they are gold plated but that's why they don't rust and they will actually, you know, keep looking nice. And this one is just a short. And again, this is yellow gold. There's a little um, evil eye here and then there is the hand there. And it has little blue stones as well. And I have already worn it in one of my videos with a low cut top. And I thought it looked quite nice and just added a little bit of detail and a little bit of sparkle as well.